Hello and welcome to AutoCAD. So in this lecture, we are going to see how we can create automatic layers for our floor plan using the chat GPT. So I have opened the press page in my AutoCAD and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a query in the chat GPT. So to save the time, time I have already created a query. You can see that I have asked chat GPT to create an AutoCAD Lisp file. Yes, we have to create the Lisp file and we have to load this list file in AutoCAD uh, to create automatic layers for my floor plan project. So ChatGPT has created this list file over here. And now what I have to do, I have to just save this list file. And whenever I'm going to load this list file in my AutoCAD page, it will going to automatically create the layers. Let's see, is it happens or not? So here, over here in the list file, you can see that these are some of the layers that it creates. You can even modify it. You can just tell ChatGPT that what are the layers that you want. But uh, right now ChatGPT has created this, this much layer. So let's just see, is it working or not? So I'm going to copy this code and how to just create the list file. For that, I have to go inside my AutoCAD folder and I have to type vlisp in the command box. VLISP is a place where you have to save the layers. So I'm going to just delete the previously created list file and I'm going to paste the list file that I have basically ChatGPT has given to me. Now I'm going to click on this file and I'm going to click on the save as and then I have to save it in the folder. So I have a desktop, I have a list file folder and I'm going to create over here auto layer. In the folder, I'm going to save it as a list source file. You can see that it is saving it as a list source file. Just click on the save. And now you can see that if I'm going to open that folder, uh, basically uh, this is a layer folder and sorry, list folder. And in that I have created an auto layer. Click on that and you can see that auto layer has been saved up over here. Now you don't have to do much more things. You just have to uh, load this list that you have created into an AutoCAD file. Right now you can see that I haven't created any of the layer, but when I'm going to click on and uh, when I'm going to drag and drop this on the screen, you can see that automatically it will going to tell you that is, you want to load it or not. So I'm going to click on this load once. And once I have done that, you can see that it will automatically going to create the respected layers. And you can modify the layers over here. If you want to change the colors and all, it will going to, uh, you can just do that. But automatically it is saved your time to create a layer. So whenever you want to load a new, let's say that we are going to work on a new file. So I'm going to close this one. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to open a fresh page. And again, I'm going to load that list file. Now you don't have to do uh, tell ChatGPT again and again to create that list file. Once it is created and saved, you just have to drag and drop it on the screen and you can see that automatically it will going to create the layers. Similarly, you can just tell ChatGPT what are the, you can customize uh, the layers that you want. And uh, this is a task for you. You just customize whatever layers that you want. Tell ChatGPT, make a proper query and tell uh, that uh, these are the layers that I want and it will automatically going to create those layers. Hope this video will going to help you. And if uh, this video, if you have liked this video, then please do press the like button. Subscribe the, for the, our channel for the updates like this. Thank you and catch up you in the next one.